Hello and welcome again. In this part of the video, we are going to discuss how we can edit the public transport side of the network. So far, we have focused more on the private transport network, but in this part, we will see what functionalities does Wisdom offer when it comes to public transport. Okay, so till now we were editing the graphic parameters and doing stuff with the links and uh, zones. For uh, editing the public transport, I have prepared a new graphic parameter file. Um, I will just open this one, which is called 03 Express Bus. And when I open this, uh, I can see very, a lot of yellow small triangles. These are indicating stop points inside the network. And the marked uh, uh, stops are basically the ones where I want to create a new bus line. I want this new bus line to go over our newly created bridge that we created using the links. Okay, so in order to add a new bus line, I again, I need to be in the insert mode of the network. And from this side of the section, I need to select the relevant network object. So in this case, this is going to be lines and I need to go to the add mode. When I go to the add mode, I uh, see this small dialog box that appears. So initially I need to create a line. And when I create a line and click anywhere on the screen, this create line dialog box will open. Here, uh, this is the name. Uh, I can call it express bus. And we have to keep in mind and we have to make sure that the transport system is bus, which is selected for this one and uh, the rest can stay the same and I will click OK. So now we have a line, but we need to create the line routes. So I will go inside the line routes and click anywhere again in the network. So first of all, I need to assign the line route to the line. So here, because I'm creating the line route for the express bus, I will select express, express bus and we can call it anything let's call it one for example and click on okay now this edit course uh, windows uh, dialog box has opened what i need to do now is uh, the line route is uh, the line route is basically created between two stops right so i need to select the two stops in between of which i want to create a line route so i press my, my mouse button and i drag it across the bridge that we created to the final stop and i release the mouse button once i'm happy with my line route i can click okay and again, this dialog box will appear, which asks me if it's OK to delete the assignment results. Because again, now we are giving an additional option uh, for people to choose from. So obviously, the initial assignment will not work. So I will choose a yes. And the line route is created. What can we do to see it? We need to go back into the edit mode. And from this table, I would like to see the express bus. And we see that inside the uh, line name is the express bus. We don't have any vehicle journeys in the in this uh, line at the moment. And the first thing that we want to do is we also want to create the same line route in the opposite direction. So what I can uh, do to achieve that is I need to right click on our line. And from here, I am going to use this option, which is which says create opposite direction. And this is the return direction. And I check everything the same name, but the direction is opposite. The transport system is still bus. And I click on OK. So now I have two line routes against uh, the line express bus. But this is not enough uh, because we don't have any uh, time profile information. So what we can do to get the time profile information is we need to open a new view. And that can be opened if I double click on this one. Um, so here, as you can see in this side of the section, I see the lengths between the stop points. And on this side of the section, we see the runtime between the stop points that, the, that is calculated uh, by the network based on the link runtimes. We can, we can uh, round these runtimes up to one minute. So this becomes seven minute, one minute, 
one minute and again one minute we can do the same for the opposite direction as well uh, so we go back we go to the lines and we select the line in this direction and we change the run time again to one minutes or round them up Okay, so now we have uh, created the line. We have created two line routes inside that line. We have uh, modified the uh, time profiles, uh, but this is still not enough if we want to do our timetable based assignment. So for that, we need vehicle journeys. And to create vehicle journeys, we need to go back to our uh, network editor. We need to select lines from our network object. And after we have this windows open, uh, I will select both of these directions simultaneously by using shift or control and then i will go in the uh, bottom option of this dialog window which says timetable and i will open timetable tabular after i have opened this uh, you can see that we don't have any objects inside this at this moment we don't have any vehicle journeys so to create the vehicle journeys I need to go to this button right here, which says create vehicle journeys. I will click it once and this uh, windows will open. We can ignore the first page of this uh, for now and go to the second tab, which says regular services. Uh, since I want to create regular services, so I will select this option. We need to uh, define the headway start and the headway end. Let's say that our bus service starts at six in the morning and it ends at, um, let's say, 22 at night. And the regular interval between two consecutive services is five minutes. After I have specified these uh, specifications, if I click anywhere on this box down here, I will see all of the journeys which I created. If I'm happy and satisfied with this, I will click on OK. And all of the vehicle journeys I can see on the on my window right here. So each of this column, it represents one vehicle journey, which is, for example, it is starting at 6. The second one is starting at 6, 5, 6, 10, and so on, because we uh, defined the headway between the bus services is five minutes. We want to do the same for the opposite direction. So we go back to this Create Vehicle Journey button. Uh, we select the opposite direction this time. And we go to the regular services, define the starting time as six in the morning, ending at 22 with five minute interval and click anywhere in this empty box in the bottom and click okay. So now if we go to our network editor window again, and if we select lines, we can see that we have vehicle journeys in this window right here, which was previously zero. After we have created the vehicle journeys, now we can do the public transport timetable based assignment. So in order to do that, uh, what we can do is we need to go to procedure sequences. If we have op this line routes window op opened in order to uh, remove it, we can select any of the other network objects. So for example, I will select links and it will disappear. Okay. There are two possibilities of, of opening the procedure sequences. The first one was the one that I showed you in the initial parts of this video series. And the second one is we can also go to this calculate tab on the top, select it. And the first option is procedure sequences. And just if we click it, we will see our procedure sequences in the bottom. So I want to because uh, run the assignment again. So I'm going to run the procedure sequences again. I will load the assignment graphic parameter again in order to see if our newly created bus is taking any uh, passengers. And yes, it is, which can be seen from here. For example, if I zoom in, so now we have a total, uh, the new bridge is taking total cars of 1200 something and total uh, 47 people are using the new bus, express bus that we just created. So we can also play around with this one by changing the headway times and by changing the vehicle journeys, we can see how the assignment is being impacted. 
So this was all for the first uh, steps tutorial using uh, PTV Vism. And if you want to go into more detail, I would recommend you go through the quick uh, step tutorial as well, and also go through all of the videos that have been uploaded on our YouTube channel. And please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any suggestions, leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Thank you.